What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today, I wanna go over uh, my tips and kind of like my guide and how I'm gonna be prepping for Zir, the new Abitur of Zir, the big pinnacle boss that is gonna be coming next month. Uh, we got a few weeks until the uh, Christmas seasonal event. And once the Abitur comes, we're gonna be able to fight this new pinnacle boss. So I kind of wanted to give you my guide and just kind of my tips and some, some bonus tips for you that I'm doing to kind of prep for this. So first and foremost, what is the Abitur of Zir? I'm gonna come over here and pull this up. So we have the new Abitur of Zir coming. This is gonna come next month and this is gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna come during the seasonal event and we're gonna have the new journey for Abitur of Zir. So if you guys do not know, the Abitur of Zir is the new pinnacle boss and we're gonna be able to fight him nonstop repeatedly as an increasing challenge for our characters. All right, now the very first level that you fight Zir at is level Nightmare Dungeon level 100, okay? And then it's gonna continually go up and get harder and harder and harder the higher you climb to fight him. So I'm gonna kind of go over my steps and just kind of show you guys um, what, what I'm doing and just kind of help you prep. So what I've been doing, the very first step that you have to do is get your character to 100, okay? That's pretty obvious, but for some people they may not know. Uh, you need to get your character to level 100 still you know it's very obvious but you got to get to level 100 okay that is first and foremost uh next while you're getting to level 100 step two is is i'm gonna have you pick a build that you want to play something that you're gonna have super fun with something that's super strong uh, and just something you really enjoy to take these challenges on and a build that you want to push to the absolute limits. I'm gonna be testing ball lining, which is Sorcerer's best build right now, and really just seeing how high I can push this build. Now, once you have those two things done on your quest to level 100, you're going to need to complete your seasonal journey. Okay, the seasonal journey, you have to complete the seasonal journey in order to unlock the Abitur of Zero events. Um, you just go through, it's super easy to do your seasonal journey, guys. When you're just passively playing through the season, you're going to be able to complete a lot of these things. Once I completed like chapter four, five or Slayer, Champion and Destroyer were basically done when I got to them. I think I had to do one thing here on Destroyer to finish it, to complete my seasonal journey. But if you're just passively playing, you're going to be able to complete this. Now, as you can see, once you complete your seasonal journey, player completes, completes the final seasonal journey. This is where you're going to be given a recipe to create your Blood Forge Sigil. And this is how you start the path to fight Zir. You're gonna get your Blood Forge Sigil, which is gonna act just like a Nightmare Dungeon. You're gonna pop it and you're gonna go do the Nightmare Dungeon. It's gonna act just like a Nightmare Dungeon, guys, so you're gonna be able to farm. You're still gonna be able to get insane Nightmare Glyphs, as you see here, gives out a lot of Nightmare Grip, or Nightmare, or excuse me, gives out a lot of normal Glyph XP. You're still gonna be able to get items and do all that. It's gonna act just like a normal Nightmare Dungeon. It's just the Abitur of Zir's nightmare dungeon it's his think of it like the beast in the ice nightmare dungeon you pop that you go through a normal dungeon and then once you get to the end you're fighting the beast of the ice this is going to act the same exact way so now once you complete your seasonal journey you got your character to level 100 and you found the build that you're going to want to do the very next step and the most important step is getting your gear pieces maxed out okay you're going to have to max out all your gear pieces and i'm talking about not only getting trying to get you know, item level 925, which is the highest, but also trying to get those stat priorities maxed out. As you can see here on my gloves, I do have a 925 item power. The reason we want that is because it's gonna give you the highest um, damage per second or armor in this case for the gear pieces. And then on my stat rolls here, we wanna get these as close to perfect as possible. So I got a perfect crit strike chance. I have an almost perfect attack speed. I have a very bad intelligence roll. And then I have a pretty good crit strike chance against injured enemies roll. So even though these gloves are probably what I'm gonna be using, I definitely want to get the same exact gloves just with slightly better crit chance against injured enemies and then a much better intelligence roll. However, you can see that I have all four dots on my stat pieces. That's because I have not re-rolled one single um, stat line there. As, as you can see on this one, see how the, there's no dot next to the intelligence on the actual item. That means that I have re-rolled that one at the um, occultist and just rolled. I have not done this on my gloves. So in theory, I could just re-roll intelligence and try to get a higher roll on that, which is most likely what I would do. So that way these gloves are as perfect as they could possibly be. 
Now, once you have all of your gear pieces leveled up and you get everything, the next big step is to max out your resistances, okay? Make sure while you're getting your gear pieces here that you balance and max out every single resistance piece that you have. You're gonna need to have max res and you need to have as much armor as humanly possible, okay? Because if your character cannot already survive a Nightmare Dungeon 100, then you need to gear up to be able to survive that first before trying to make a challenge even like take on something that's even harder, which we'll talk about here in just a second. So make sure you max out your resistances and get your armor as high as humanly possible. So now that you got your gear, you got your resistances, you got your armor, right? You got all your gems in, all that good stuff. The next thing, and this is the biggest one probably is leveling all your glyphs. I cannot stress this enough. If anybody is like me, especially if you're more of a casual player, you're going to be like my charge glyph here and you're going to only put them to 15, right? Because if you put them to 15, that's the widest glyph range that you can get, which is what you see here. And then you can get all the bonuses. It unlocks the secondary bonus on here. Like you see the enchantment, you have to get it to 15 to unlock that. Now I know that the power boost from a glyph that's level one to 15 is huge. And the boost from 15 to 21 is not as big as the power boost from 1 to 15, right? But I still encourage you, level every single glyph to 21, the max level. It is going to help you immensely, especially at the higher levels here. And it makes even doing Nightmare Dungeon 100 super easy. So make sure you max all of these out. Another big reason for that is because when you do your first uh, Nightmare Dungeon here, or the Blood Forge Sigil, your very first Nightmare Dungeon um, for the Avatar of Zir, you are going to get a Tears of the Blood unique glyph. This is the brand new glyph, and this is going to be a unique glyph specifically for this event for the Avatar. The reason that this is, is because the devs want us to really test out all of this. They want to put something like this permanently in the game, especially for the end game. So that way we have more stuff to do. And they're going to be putting this in every season as well as the eternal realm. So this is going to be the new glyph that we're going to get. So it's going to make using your Paragon board and changing things. You know, you're going to have to decide what glyph you want to take out to put in for this. Now, the bonus on this is for every five core stats purchased within range, you gain 2% increased damage. The reason that they're giving us this glyph is because this is what's going to help us scale our damage to take on much higher nightmare dungeon levels in the Avatar of Zero event. Okay. I think the dev said at BlizzCon that the max bonus that this will be after you level it up to its max is 200% multiplicative increased damage. Okay. You can see that the next radius is increased at level 50. So we're going to be leveling this glyph like crazy. I do not know what the max level is for this glyph but i if i remember correctly you might you guys might fact check me down in the comments but i'm pretty sure that they said at blizzcon that the max increased damage here is 200 percent which is insane amount of damage but this is the glyph that's really going to help us scale to push and go higher and higher and higher in this event so now that you have your character your level 100 seasonal journeys done you got all your gear you got all your glyphs leveled up now what do you do we got time until the event, so let's practice, right? So you can do a lot of things here to kind of just scale um, your character. The biggest one is going in and completing Nightmare Dungeon level 100s. You really need to test your character and you need to push and be able to do this. My kind of rule of thumb with this would be, if you can do a Nightmare Dungeon 100 sub five minutes, then your character is primed. Now this is solo. If you can do a nightmare dungeon sub five minutes, sub seven minutes, depending on your build, then you are in a very, very good spot. Okay. I think that your character is very good. Now, how can we kind of prep and really give us, give ourselves like a bigger challenge until the event? Well, one thing is you go in, if you're in a big, awesome clan like mine, where everybody loves to play together, you invite three of your buddies. And what you're gonna do is and be in a full party. If you guys don't know, it's, let's see if I can get uh, my buddy Demon or if I can get somebody in here. It doesn't, uh, everybody's in a party. Nobody wants to play with me. Um, when you have a full party, all the monsters get the increased um, HP and the increased damage. Therefore, when you have a full party, they have 400% increased health and increased damage. 
So that's gonna make doing the dungeon even harder, right? All right, guys, so we're back. We couldn't find it. I could not find where it showcases it, but I will tell you 100% that the more people you have in your party, the higher HP and damage that your the enemy monsters do. So definitely get into a full party and just go test that out. So after you're done testing, doing it solo, doing Nightmare Dungeons 100 solo, doing them in a full party to really test your character, I have one bonus tip for you guys, and this is gonna be talking about survivability, okay? So these dungeons are gonna be extremely hard. And one big bonus tip that I have for you is doubling your armor, okay? I think there's a good part of the community that knows this trick, or maybe they just don't, but I'm gonna give you it as a bonus tip anyway. So we're gonna go over here to the uh, combat dummy, and I'm gonna show you this bonus tip. So these are kind of all the steps that I'm gonna be doing to really just get prepped for Zir. So uh, another thing I wanna talk about with Zir while we're getting in here is that like we don't know what the status quo effects or the affixes that are gonna be on his dungeons. We don't know those for sure. So I don't know the answer to that if you guys ask down in the comments. So onto the bonus tip guys, we're gonna be talking about armor. So armor, with the big change to all the resistances here this season, it's good to have all of these maxed in world tier four. Now, the other change that they did was, is that armor reduces physical damage and it reduces physical damage only, okay? Before, when the resistance system was broken and not working, armor, you know, was resisting everything, okay? So it was the default. But now that we have these, Armor is going to be resisting just physical damage. And to be honest, I don't think that the devs really shared it with us enough. But there's a lot of monsters that do physical damage. So if your armor is not insanely high, then it's going to be hard to have some good survivability in these higher, higher nightmare dungeons. So here's the trick. It is disobedience in your amulet. Okay, and this is how you get double armor. All right. If you get a max disobedience, you can stack up your armor up to 99%. So my armor, you guys are gonna see it here. My armor is 5,400 and as I attack, you're gonna see it climb. It's gonna climb to 10,000 and have the reduced damage taken from enemies of equal level by 85%. This is the absolute max that it can go. So having this maximum damage reduction on your armor is absolutely insane. And this should be on every build, especially if you're gonna be trying to push higher nightmare dungeons and just want ultimate survivability. So that is the bonus tip I have for you guys. Now I do know, before you guys butcher me in the comments, I do know that in a lot of builds, you know, like for example, with Hoda and Barbarian, you're rocking the overpower amulet. So you can't put disobedience here. I understand that. Still try to get a max one and have it. But for builds that don't require a specific unique or something in your amulet slot, 100% go disobedience, no matter what. Like even in this build, I would probably want like conceited or something in my amulet in my amulet instead. Or like if you're rocking elementalist, right? Elementalist with 40%, this actually becomes an increase of 60% in your amulet. Yeah, I know those are good, but when we're gonna be focusing just on doing Xur, disobedience by far is 100% the best go-to best in slot power to put in your amulet so that's the bonus tip guys again just to recap get your character to level 100 finish the seasonal journey get your gear completely maxed out not only with item power but in your stat priorities get every single glyph leveled to 21 okay get them all leveled to 21 if you don't get them all done okay get your power set right go farm nightmare dungeon 100 sub seven minutes at the maximum and then try doing it in a full party for training and yeah guys once you do all that you will be prepped for Zer next month and i'm so excited to have a brand new pinnacle boss to fight something else to do because honestly lilith i do love smacking her and just doing community carries but we want something else in the end game i think this is a huge step forward for the game and i'm really excited to test all this stuff out so Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment. I want to know all your guys' thoughts on this going forward. And yeah, as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.